Our top story tonight, Monday marks two years since the United States Supreme Court overturned the landmark decision Roe v. Wade, leaving the issue of abortion up to the states. I dug into how Montana's abortion landscape has changed since then. June 24, 2022, a historic day that saw a nearly 50-year precedent overturned in what seemed like the blink of an eye. The Supreme Court's Dobbs v. Jackson decision spurred abortion restrictions that cropped up across the country. But in Montana, the number of abortions is rising. It's over a 30% increase in the rate of abortions um, here in Montana, or the number of abortions actually here in Montana since the Dobbs decision. So it's a pretty significant increase. This increase is not specific to women coming from out of state. Fuller says some of the uptick is from increased accessibility for in-state patients. The Guttmacher Institute estimates 230 Montana abortions were provided to women from out of state last year. That's within the formal health care system. Fuller says there's an increase in individuals coming from states where abortion is banned, as far away as Texas. They're also seeing women seeking care from states like Colorado, where care is available, but providers are serving a lot of individuals from other states. Fuller says Montana has long been an island of access in the Intermountain West. Abortion protections exist up until fetal viability, stemming from the state's constitutional right to privacy. Several surrounding states like Idaho, South Dakota, and North Dakota now have abortion bans with limited exceptions. Generally speaking, folks from all of the states around us need to travel. Even folks in Wyoming, because there's only one provider, are often needing to travel long distances. Despite Montana's unique situation, the battle over abortion access continues. Fuller says Planned Parenthood of Montana is currently involved in litigation over 10 laws and administrative rules involving abortion. So it's a constant, a constant fight against um, folks who would like to take that access away. Abortion is now expected to be on the ballot for Montanans this November. A current constitutional initiative would expressly protect the right to an abortion in the state constitution. And those behind the effort say they gathered more than enough signatures to qualify. For more information on the initiative, visit our homepage, NBCMontana.com.